So um, to get back to, to our presentation, um, this was a very good illustration of the Macedonian tourist offer. And uh, it's a mixture of cultural heritage, the great landscapes, and the tradition of, of uh, hospitality with, as I said, developing uh, tourist infrastructure. As an as a, as a, as a ancient country, uh, a location where civilization has been thriving for millennia, uh, Macedonia offers first-rate archaeological sites, churches and monasteries with great historical and religious significance, ancient markets, mosques, caravanserais, and Turkish inns, as well as uh, a number of towers and citadels, many of which are currently being renovated. The landscapes in Macedonia, you probably know them all, uh, people from all over the world, as well, will be able to see, are coming to see, to see them. Macedonia has 53 artificial and natural lakes, the Okrut Lake being the most famous, one of the oldest lakes in the world, three national parks, a number of animal sanctuaries and natural reserves, and um, a developing tour, uh, rural tourism uh, network. The hospitality of the Macedonians is, is uh, widely renowned and this helps very much the word of mouth uh, type of, of, of uh, promotion of Macedonia. And uh, the, the, uh, the supporting, uh, I, will, I will say again, uh, uh, network and infrastructure and, and institutions in Macedonia are developing quickly to complement and offer a, a good, good experience to, to uh, foreign travelers. A Euromonitor International in uh, November 2009 published a report, Tourism in Macedonia, and uh, it, uh, one, of, one of the parts of this report says Macedonia, an, an independent traveler's dream, and that's what it is. But we also hope to, to offer more to other types of travelers. Um, the, cul the cultural heritage, um, some of the sites, that, that uh, foreign tourists would be interested in Macedonia. The megalithic observatory Kokino, uh, one of the uh, four oldest observatories on the NASA's uh, list. Uh, Herklal and Kestis in Bitola, uh, Stobi, as we all know it, the most preserved antique city in Macedonia, dating from the Roman era. Uh, 992 uh, churches and monasteries with historical and religious significance, uh, 228 mosques, a number of inns, Turkish baths, bazaars, and as I said, 47 towers and fortresses. The nature. Macedonia is famous, first of all, by the Lake Ohrid. It's a UNESCO site in 19, 1979, one of the world's oldest lakes, but we also have Lake Prespa, Lake Doiran, that uh, offer potential to develop um, as, 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 as we progress um, into very interesting uh, destinations within Macedonia. I would add the National Park Mauro, the National Park Pelister, Galicica, the Matka Canyon, uh, and three ski resorts, Mavro, Kožuf, and Popova Shapka. The Macedonian hospitality, I mentioned, very well known, the standards of quality of and consistency of service improving. Uh, the infrastructure, very well developed in the Okrut region, private initiatives and public-private partnerships, we have identified to be the, the, the way to the future. But there are significant opportunities to develop in all areas of alternative tourism. What we have done uh, are Macedonia Timeless campaign, a billboard campaign in all uh, capital cities in the neighboring countries because that's where we believe uh, in the short, uh, short term most of the tourists will be coming from and uh, the billboard saying Macedonia, there where, where the sun eternally shines. Many of you will remember that uh, song by uh, Memoria and, and uh, uh, another Croatian singer, uh, Macedonia, Tamo kaj što sonce to sjaje. Uh, we have presented Macedonia at a number of international fairs. We have introduced a program for subsidizing foreign tour operators. Uh, we have appeared uh, recently in a one-week coverage of Macedonia at the I list on CNN International. In 2009, as a result of this, the New York Times rated Macedonia as the 21st place in the 35 best places to visit in 2010. 
the U.S. State Department pl placed Macedonia on the cover of uh, the uh, its its magazine uh, April edition, and uh, also we have uh, appeared at a number of other uh, uh, publications and and as we gain greater and greater greater and greater visibility. So. How to discover Macedonia? First of all, visit the churches and the monasteries. Visit uh, the Ottoman art and architecture. Explore the cities and towns in Macedonia. Religious tourism, and that's another interesting um, area. Uh, for example, tours focusing on uh, St. Paul uh, the Apostle. Um, visits to the Macedonian ancient monasteries. And uh, of course, Macedonia as the birthplace of Mother Teresa. The cultural, the, the rural tourism. Many of you that uh, have visited Macedonia have uh, seen the Macedonian villages. Many of you come from these villages and you know that they offer a lot of potential. Uh, I will just mention a few. Uh, Trpeza, Galicnik Lazaropole, uh, Koleshino and Smolari, the Maleshevo region, just to name a few. Macedonia, with its nature, natural parks, uh, sanctuaries, offers a lot of opportunities for adventure tourism. Hiking, skiing, mountain biking, speleology, paragliding, sailing, etc. The wine tourism, as we, we could see in, in, in the commercial, uh, offers a lot of, a lot of uh, interesting possibilities. And as a package, all of this can, can be a very nice, uh, nice offer. Currently, we have developing uh, the Macedonian wine, wine road, uh, something uh, inspired by, by the Napa Valley. Uh, uh, visits to wineries that offer wine tasting, wine-related hospitality, and wine and gastronomy. The spa tourism is being uh, developed uh, more and more, and that's, uh, that's an area of growth that, that we'll see in, in, in the time that comes. So um, if any of you has any, any questions related to this presentation, either the cultural heritage of Macedonia, the nature, the hospitality and the tourist infrastructure, what we as a government have done to promote Macedonia, what the effects have been. Uh, I will be here after all of the panelists finish and I look forward to uh, answering any questions that um, you might have. Thank you very much. Discover Macedonia.